And gate one in white for the Witches. The sole rider for them is Adam Ellis. Gate two is Eric Riss in blue for the Spires. And gate four in red is Charles Wright for the Spires. And obviously, gate three is empty for them. He excluded Keenan Roo. So here we go then, the restart of Heat 14 is underway. And Ellis looks to have made a good one off that gate one again. He stayed tight last time out on the run, and he stayed tight again, but he's just drifted up the line. Riss is going to go for it up the inside. Ellis shuts the door, but drifts wide in doing so and can't hold the corner, but he finds the dirt on the outside. Riss is still there for using the dirt on the inside. Ellis is caught in no man's land, now got a big bit of grip around the outside, and Riss has now gone under him. Ellis is still persistent with the outside line. Try and get round wrist. It looks too far. Let's go, Charles Wright. He's now coming in on Ellis. You can throw a blanket over these three. A really good race. Wright's gone up the inside of Ellis. Ellis got caught in no man's land there. You either got to be wide or you got to be tight. And he was caught in no man's land. And the Spires go past him. Spires are on a 5-1. Riss is looking good out front. Ellis is now going for the big one round the outside, but it's too far out now. And it looks like the Spires are coming home for a 5-1. And that'll send the crown bananas here. It's a win for the rider in blue, Eric Riss. Followed home by his teammate. And he'll get a paid win for that as well. So hopefully that'll pay for a new set of bars on his bike from the incident. It's a win for Eric Riss in blue for the Spires. Followed home by his partner, Charles Wright. In third, Adam Ellis in white for the Witches.